All right, the tablet view is more or less done for the moment. Let's swap now to the next view. I'm going to select the portrait, uh, the landscape mode on the mobile phone. And as you can see, now we swapped to the hamburger menu. In tablet view, we still employ these links, employ these links. And in mobile view, we swap to the tablet, uh, the hamburger menu. If you want to change these settings, you can select your navbar, go to navbar settings, and then change from when onwards we want to swap to the hamburger menu. Sometimes it might make sense to already employ that on the tablet, or sometimes maybe you don't want to use that hamburger menu at all. It's really up to what you want to do. Now I want to Let's quickly fix some things on this page. And again, the first thing I'm noticing is that I can scroll to the right. So let's fix this. And again, this should have to do with this hero text wrap. So let's remove, first of all, all the padding. And then we can't scroll anymore. And maybe we can reduce some of the padding on the left hand side. Let's set that to 20. There we go. Now, the next thing is this image is getting very small. And this is getting a bit too narrow here for my liking. So let's try to fix, fix this. Now, let's take a look at the structure. And we can see we have two diff elements which are nested inside a flex container. With flex, we can super easily adjust these settings. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the flex container and then go to children in the settings, the styling, and make sure to select wrap. That basically allows us to wrap elements into several lines if they get too big. Right now, the right div is 66.6% wide and the left div should be 33.3% wide. Now, if I change the right div, it's width to 100%. Now we have 133% in total width on the page and that should push the right div down. If I don't use the wrap on flex container, it's still going to squeeze them together and just according to the width of the two elements. So let me put enter and you see this pushes this whole thing down. Let me demonstrate you how that would look like if you don't have wrap. So I'm going to undo it. And now you can see this image gotten even smaller because now 100% is significantly more than 33.3%. So proportionally, this text element has grown even more. So that's why we need to do wrap and this should put everything down. And maybe we can increase the size of this image slightly in order to do so. I'm going to select the left div and increase this width to, let's say, 50%. There we go. Maybe a bit too big, 40%. There we go. Now let's do exactly the same thing to this section below here as well. And for that, again, I'm going to select the flex container, which is set to wrap already because it's the same class. And then make sure that I'm going to select the left column, which is this text element here. And I'm going to give it a width of 100%. And make sure that the right column, which is the the, the element, the trading view widget, it has a width of 100% as well. And then we can give it some margin at the top to push it down from the sketch guide. Let's give it a margin of 60 pixels. So we have some space here. Now, again, these changes are only working on landscape and portrait mode on mobile phone. There's, these won't affect tablet or desktop view. The next thing is this block section, blog post section. 
I think it would be a lot better if we only have one blog post per row. And let's try to change that. I'm going to select these blog posts and they are a grid list. So you can see this is a collection list and we have employed a grid system in here. And with grid system, it's super easy to make them responsive. All I have to do is remove one of those columns. And I am just going to do that. And that pushes everything down. Now, these columns are a bit too big. So let's try to reduce their height. We can change that to, let's try 300 pixels. That's a bit too little. Oh, still. And give everything a bit of margin. Let's make sure I just have selected the right. Yeah. And then make sure that this preview image is a bit shorter. Let's set that to 180, 160 pixels. Awesome. No, this is not working. So let's see what is going on here. Ah, we need to reduce the width to let's say 80%. There we go. If we leave it like this, this should work for the moment. We can increase. We can set that to 5% and set so it's equal on both sides. All right. And now let's see some of the other spacings. I think this looks fine. This has a bit too much spacing on the left hand side for my liking. Let's try to reduce this to 40. And let's see if we can create some more space here below this image. In order to do that, I'm going to select this left div and I'm going to give it a slight margin of 20 pixels. This pushes it down a bit. And Yes, this looks okay for the moment. Let's publish everything and see how it looks like actually in real life with the trading widget.